addition in exponential notation means how to add two different numbers if they are written in the form of exponential notation. Suppose we have the first number that is a times 10 to the power of m plus b times 10 to the power of m. When you add them, it will be written as a plus b times 10 to the power of m. It means if you have first exponential notation that is a times 10 to the power n and second one b times 10 to the power n, if you see both are having the same exponent. What is exponent here? n and n. Then numbers will be added together and then times 10 to the power n. For example, I have 3 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 times 10 to the power of 5. Both are having 10 to the power of 5. It means it will be written as 3 plus 5 times 10 to the power of 5. 3 plus 5? 8 times 10 to the power of 5. That was our first example. Let's have one more here. Number 2. Suppose I have 3.2 times 10 to the power of 3 plus 1.5 times 10 to the power of 3. First, what we're going to do? We'll do 3.2 plus 1.5 in one parenthesis times 10 to the power of 3. Next, we are going to add 3.2 plus 1.5. What will happen this one? 4.7 times 10 to the power of 3. That's your answer. Let's have a few more examples. Suppose I have 6.8. 8, 1 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 1.04 times 10 to the power of 5. We can see that both exponential notation number have 10 to the power of 5. It means it can be added 6.81 plus 1.04 times 10 to the power of 5. What will happen? Add them. 4 plus 1, 5, 8 and 7. So it will be 7.85 times 10 to the power of 5. Let's have one more. Number 4. If I have 6.54 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 2.93 times 10 to the power of 4. I want everybody to pay attention here. In this case, if you see both exponential numbers, this one has 10 to the power of 5, but another term has 10 to the power of 4. We can add only and only if both numbers need to have same power. Understand? So what is our job here to make this one 5? Either we can make this one 5 or either we can make this one 4. It's your choice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this one 5. How are we going to do that? First I will write this one 6.54 times 10 to the power of 5 plus. If I move this decimal one place ahead, will get exponent 1. Understand? So what we can write here 0 0.293 times 10 to the power of 4 plus 1 5. Understand? Everyone understand? Good. Now we have 10 to the power 5. 10 to the power 5. We can easily add them. 
6.54 plus 0.293 times 10 to the power of 1. Let's do this. What will happen? 3, 9 plus 4, 13, 3 again, carry okay, 1, right? 5, 2, 7, and 1, 8, and this one, 6.833 times 10 to the power of 5. That's your answer. Now we're going to learn subtraction in exponential relation. It says that if you have a times 10 to the power of n minus b times 10 to the power of n, it will be a minus b times 10 to the power of n. For example, Example. First one, if we have seven point six, only be different first. I'll be you. Nine point six three times ten to the power of six minus one point zero nine. 1.09 times 10 to the power of 6. Both numbers they have 10 to the power of 6, so we're going to write 9.63 minus 1.09 times 10 to the power of 6. Let's do the minus. 13 minus 9 is 4. 5. And this one is 8. So 8.54 times 10 to the power of 6. Another example, if we had 8.67, 8.67 times 10 to the power of 4 minus 7.88 times 10 to the power of 4. What will happen? First, we will do 8 minus 8.67 minus 7.88 times 10 to the power of 4. When you do minus, what you will get? 0 0.79. 0 0.79 times 10 to the power of 4. As you can see, then 0 0.79 is less than. 1. Understand? Less than 1. So we have to write, we have to send decimal here. So what will happen this one now? 7.9 times 10 to the power of, when you go from left to right, what happens? Minus 1. So 10 to the power 4. Now exponent minus 1. So it becomes 10 to the power of 3. That's your answer. Let's have a few more examples. Third one, 7.6 times 10 to the power of 5 minus 8.7 times 10 to the power of 4. As we can see that in both the terms, exponents are not same. So we are going to make equal exponent 7.6 times 10 to the power of 5 minus I want to make it 5, so we will go right to left, how many digits? 1 digit or 1 state. It becomes 0 0.87 times 10 to the power of 5. Now the exponents are same, we can solve it. 7.6 minus 
zero point eight seven times ten to the power of five. When you do minus, what you will get six point seven three times ten to the power of five. That's your answer. If we have one more example, suppose 1.21 times 10 to the power of 7 minus 6.2 times 10 to the power of 6. We will write this one as it is 1.21 times 10 to the power of 7 minus this one will move one place this becomes 0 0.62 times 10 to the power of 7. What will happen now? 1.21 minus 0 0.62 times 10 to the power of 7. Let's have the last step. When you minus what you will get 0 0.59 times 10 to the power of 7. It's less than 1, so we have to move decimal 1 place left to right. What will happen? 5.9 times 10 to the power. When you move left to right, exponent will be minus 1 from the given one. So 7 minus 1 is 6. That's your answer.